Hello everyone and welcome back to Squeak and Shout. Different format today. I'm going to be showing you my screen later on. So we are on webcam and screen recording. But if you are new to the channel, I'm Sam. Hello. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you the new variations photo links that you are now able to do in Etsy. Awesome. This has been a long time coming, especially now they've changed the format of desktop and they changed mobile a long time ago to the very more photo, um, kind of big photo generic kind of screens. So linking photos is something that we've all been able to do on our own websites, on Shopify, WooCommerce, things like this, but now it has been finally brought to Etsy. So let me turn you around, screen record, and show you what it is like. I am in my own e-commerce shop, which welcome to the channel if you are new. I sell guinea pig themed items in one of my shops and um, I currently have two and I'm setting up a third one. So this is my draft section and as you see up here, this one is new link photos to your variations learn more. But you don't need to click that because I'm going to tell you exactly and show you exactly what you can do now. So I've pulled one of my t-shirts, I've duplicated it, put it into drafts just so I'm not messing up my own listing and I can specifically show you what this looks like. So you can see this t-shirt with the design I offer in a variety of different colours and sizes obviously. Um, but if you scroll down to where your variations are down here, I've gone a little bit too far, um, you will see now up here that there is this start linking photos to variations. So if you click link photos, you can then choose your variation type. So as usual, you are still limited to only allowing to be um, using two. So size obviously doesn't matter in this sense, it still looks the same. Um, so I'm going to go color um, and you will see all your color variations there. If you drop down then, you will then be able to, so this is the black t-shirt, I can then link the black t-shirt image. Scroll down, uh, that's it. Collapse, move down to the gray so I can link the gray. Do the same for the blue. Do the same for the purple and lastly the red. So there we go. Click save. So you can see all those have now got pictures there. Click save. Um, and then, you know, publish. Obviously, this is a draft, so I'm going to go save as draft. Uh, yeah, so then if I go into my shop and show you the one I've already prepared. So in my shop now... Uh, I haven't done that one yet, so we have to go to this one. <laughs> um, but you will see now this one that I've already done it to. Um, let's say I click size medium, black, obviously it changes to black. Then if I click grey, it shows the grey item. If I change it to blue, it shows the blue item. If I change it to purple, it shows the purple. And if I show the red, it shows the red. So again, change the size to whatever you want. The image still stays red because you have it on red add to basket and your customer knows exactly what they are buying. So if you offer variations um, in your shop and definitely if you are not using variations and have more than one of your items, I highly recommend it. But you can now link your products to them, which is amazing and so helpful now with not only this new desktop layout, but also the mobile layout too. So that has been this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I just wanted to jump on quickly onto the webcam and screen recording to show you this latest update. You will no doubt have the same notifications there thinking you've got an order, um, but it's not. It is the notifications. So if you are you know, using variations and have not added photos, to your photo 10 photos that you are allowed this is now another reason to do so and then link it to the variations so that your customer is has no doubt in what they are ordering so let me know how you get on in the comments down below let me know if you found this screen recording kind of webcam video of interest obviously anything where i show my screen i will do this again hopefully you use enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a like leave me a comment down below let me know anything else you want to see on screen record um, and make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss the next video all about etsy seo see you then bye